Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and design a website using the Studio Press Executive Pro theme. I'll customize it so it can look exactly the same as in the showcase. Nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. From the uh, navbar, slider, and featured image. Now, it doesn't look like this when you upload it to your site. It looks completely empty. The images I will be using are some random pictures. Keep in mind, it's up to you to upload nice pictures so you can make your website look as good. Now, this is how it looks when you upload this theme to your WordPress site. Completely empty. Let's start from the header. Now, this text uh, logo here came when you initially installed WordPress to your hosting account. Now, if we go to the dashboard, settings, general, site title, this is your uh, text logo. If you want to keep the text logo, just change it, save it, and always refresh to see your changes. Perfect. I'll show you how to create an image logo or an image header. But before we start, go to Genesis, Slider Settings. If you're going to use a slider on your uh, Executive Pro theme, and change the display settings here. Make sure that the width is, is 1140 pixels and the height is 445. Before we do anything, this is this is a must do. And save your settings. Once you have saved it, then we're ready to continue editing this uh, website. Now let's add an image to the header here. It's extremely simple when using this executive pro theme. All you need to do is go to appearance, header on the dashboard of WordPress, and it'll tell you the dimensions, uh, 1140 pixels by 100. Now you can use a photo editor, I'm using Photoshop to create this image. It's extremely simple, using this information here. So I'll go ahead and create new. And set the dimensions specified on the uh, ex executive pro theme, 1140 by 100 pixels. And this is it. Now you can add an image here, you can add whatever it is that you want, you can add, uh, your logo can occupy the entire header if you want, it's all up to you. Now I'm just going to put here avoid errors, and I'm going to put it uh, to the left side, that way I can leave the right side for any widget, for example the search or social media uh, icons or something. Now I'll make the uh, background clear, so I can use the uh, same color background on my ex executive pro theme which is kind of grayish once I'm done I'll save it I'm gonna save it on my desktop here now the same applies to all images for um, studio press themes I save this image as a PNG on my desktop. Perfect. Now just browse for that. We're going to browse here and look for this um, logo or header PNG. Select it, open, upload and it's done now we have this text here all we need to do is uncheck show uh, header text and then save uh, changes perfect go back here refresh and we should have this new logo perfect easy now let's add the search here to the right go back to the uh, dashboard appearance widgets and you have a space here available for the right of the header I'm just gonna put the search drag and drop the search widget here refresh done now I have the search this is why I like Genesis I mean it's, it's, it's extremely easy now let's create a nav bar here for a nav bar you need to create content where there is blog post or pages in this case I'm using pages so let's go ahead and 
uh, add a page here I have some dummy pages here but before we start creating pages it's very important that we know the dimensions of the uh, featured image that we're going to use on the pages so go back to the uh, widgets area and just f just to know some dimensions here drag the uh, Genesis featured page and where it says image size click on the drop down and you'll see that it tells you that thumbnails if you're using for blog post they should be 150 by 150 pixels featured image is 285 by 100 this is the the, the picture that is going to go on the home page in the front and portfolio 300 by 200 the slider 1140 by 445 now this here is a featured image which is 285 by 100 pixels that's it you you can make a note of that if you want now I'm gonna put this widget back go back to the page here pages and create a new page I'll call this test test one whatever now we can also customize the layout if we want a right sidebar left sidebar or full page is up to you now I'm gonna leave it default and add the feature image here now because this uh, page is gonna be on the front which is gonna be one of the featured uh, pages I uploaded a an image which is 285 by 100 pixels I created this image exactly the same I created the header set the featured image and then published done yeah, but just because it's published doesn't mean it's on the it's, it's uh, showing on the web page yet now I have here all my created um, pages including the test one here that we just did now let's create a uh, post but to create post we need to create a category because we need to create we need to put the post under certain categories I have here some dummy categories here one two and three so I'm just gonna go ahead and create category four and then I'm gonna put under slug the same name category four a new category perfect so we have now one two three four categories now let's create a post so under post click on all posts we have none we haven't created one yet add new I'm gonna call this post post one and there we go and I'm gonna put it under one of the categories I created I'll select category two and you can do the same you can change the layout of how you want your site to look whether left or right sidebar or no sidebar now select the featured image since this featured image is gonna be on the home page the featured image should be 1140 pixels by 445 remember if it's not gonna go on the featured image you don't need to add an image or you can add the any size image so as you can see 100 1140 by 445 set as default image and then published perfect now let's create the menus go to appearance menus I'm gonna name my primary menu navbar create menu perfect now this primary menu is gonna have all my pages so go to pages here show all and select all the pages you want on that uh, primary menu and add them now I'm gonna organize it similar to how is on the uh, showcase of studio press so I'll put this uh, sample page here second if I want to create a sub menu I just need to move it to the right a little bit now this co columns is a sub menu of page sample page 
okay now I'm done organizing the um, the pages here I'll select that to be my primary navigation menu and save the menu now we go back and refresh we should have a menu created there you go now it's starting to take shape now let's go ahead and customize the um, the slider if you notice here the um, the slider is composed of posts so let's create some posts and add the images now go to the um, WordPress dashboard here widgets under appearance and you'll notice here you have a space available for the home slider now drag the Genesis respons responsive slider and place it there perfect now if we go back and refresh we'll probably have that one post we created in the slider perfect now let's customize this but before we do I'm going to add more uh, post and post images so I'll be back perfect I'm back so we should have more images on that slider refresh here good okay now we have more images there now go to Genesis slider settings and here scroll all the way down and look for content settings here now here select one of the following I'm gonna display uh, post content because I don't have any excerpt and display title and save settings also I'm gonna limit the uh, characters there to be about 50 characters not to be too many I'll refresh and there we go I have the title an excerpt and continue reading uh, link now let's go back again and let's put the uh, the location of the expert excerpt to the left I'm gonna add more uh, characters 200 save the settings go back and now it looks it's starting to look the same as the the one in the showcase now let's add feature images here featured pages to the home page remember this is widgetized so I'll go back to the dashboard appearance widgets here now expand home top here and here we're gonna place uh, Genesis featured image we're gonna place three featured image here so I'm gonna walk you through the first one I'm gonna select um, page templates image size 285 by 100 that's the image we up the featured image we uploaded show featured image and then I'm gonna leave the same title as a page show page content and the amount of characters here 200 I'll save my settings here now if we go back we should see the um, my featured page here perfect now we need to do the same for the remaining for the remainder uh, pages now I have some already created here I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto the same uh, area perfect now once we go back and refresh we have all our featured image here now we can do the same with the remainder featured image and the call to action remember the home page is completely widgetized in this theme I think most of the themes are widgetized so all we need to go is go back to the dashboard here you notice the uh, call to action here I'm just gonna drag and drop some text random text and home middle I'll just do the same I'll refresh here and you'll see now I have the um, additional featured image and if I can go on 
but I mean this is basically the core once you get this over with the rest is extremely simple thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions rega regarding uh, any customization with StudioPress you can feel free to leave a comment in the description box below thank you